Here's the world sidecar champion. He's got his 1,000cc machine here. It's kind of like musical chairs as we see Reeves and Pat Farrens going over Ago's Leap. Everybody seems to swap from one outfit to the other. Patrick Farrens is rear end, and if you'll pardon that, you'll see that some of the passengers don't have knee sliders like solo riders, they have bum sliders. And here comes just about everybody else in the field. There is Reeves obviously being caught by Phil Dongworth, who started 10 seconds behind him. Reeves and Farron seat just scraping the kerb there and that inside third wheel still lifting clear off the ground. This is Tim Reeves, sixth place, but he's catching the man in front of him. And this man is on his way to third place. What an astounding result that will be for Tim Reeves and Patrick Farron. They're looking at a podium finish here. Third place, fractions ahead of that number 11 machine of Phil Donworth and Stu Castles is Tim Reeves. There's a battle going on there. And here is Reeves. Well, he's starting his climb up the mountain. Here's Reeves, and he is on it. Is this going to be a podium or is this going to be fourth place? There's going to be precious little difference in time between the two places, but in significance, there's going to be an enormous gulf. And Patrick Farrens again showing you how far you have to get out of the seat to keep that wheel planted. Number nine, Tim Reeves. He moves up one place in the start order today. They came fourth on Saturday, having a good week at the TT. Roy Hanks comes into Balacrane with Tim Reeves and Patrick Farrens behind. They've made up 10 seconds in seven miles. They're getting gaining on them at more than a second a mile. This is Tim Reeve, number nine, the world champion. And you can see the wind rippling the grass here. Oh, and picking up the wheel again. Pat Farrance in the chair there, moves across as they go right and up Halewood Rise. Number three sets off, Tim Reeves and passenger Patrick Farrance from Kent on the Suzuki, the LCR Suzuki. Yeah, you can see Patrick there getting tucked out of the way as much as he can. It is difficult on these sidecar outfits for the passengers to get out of the wind. And this is one of the problems, Steve, difficult to get past with these sidecar outfits. Yeah, you can see needing a, well, need a lot of road to do that. Uh, much, a lot more corners, of course, with the sidecar machines because they can't cut the corners as well. <laughs> The slipstream keeps these bikes together longer, with less power than the solos, relatively. There is number three, Tim Reeves and Patrick Ferrance going through uh, on the uh, Team Prof Dr. Salmon machine as they head off. And I can't believe people hanging over there having a pint. What a glorious way to spend a day. Yeah, and that's a pairing of... Uh, that's this is actually Reeves and Ferrance's rearward facing camera up the mountain. Yeah, they okay. do a job. Uh, it's uh, supported by Eastern Airways, the airline that flies to the Isle of Man, so they'll be all right for getting a trip home. And look at him looking over his shoulder just to see what's going on. 